boys and girls, sports fans, it's Den here. I'm in the bowels of uh, a wonderful office building in London, England. London Village, that is, for those who don't know. And I'm with uh, Dan Summers, CEO of Warwick Analytics, a very, very small startup company that has been sucked into the wonderful world of SAP. Some people think so. How the hell did that happen? Yeah, it's a good question. I ask myself that sometimes. So um, You shake your head every morning, yeah? Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. What, what's, what's going on? <clears throat> yeah, we, um, we were a small company. We're focused on manufacturing companies. Our solution solves the root causes of manufacturing uh, faults. Um, we were partnered with other companies. SAP, clearly, with their pedigree in manufacturing, we thought we at least need to talk to them. Mm. Um, not particularly high expectations. We got involved. The timing was uncanny, and uh, around October last year, we just happened to bump into something called the HANA program. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't know what HANA was, um, and um, we got parachuted into a startup program, uh, which, um, to cut a long story short, is we're off, well, I guess we're still in it, but we're cer certainly um, well into it. And um, yeah, fully fledged partner. So you didn't think that you could deal with SAP, right? It's absolutely right. We, we, yeah. we were very wary of this. I Why? Guess. Well, I've got experience before, not with SAP, but we're dealing with large um, companies with three letters in their names mm. um, who are big mm. and... Um, I wonder who they might be. <laughs> uh, and you, can get, you can get lost in these companies. Sure. And they're, they're set up to deal with big companies. Right. Um, and you know, SAP, I didn't know that they had any small companies. Microsoft have programs. A lot of people have their small company programs. So, you know, it was with trepidation that uh, I sort of engaged on that and tried to find the right people. Because as a startup, you can't afford to waste time it doesn't matter who you're talking to does it I mean you can't afford to waste time if it's not going to go anywhere you've got to absolutely you've got to, you've got to be out there dealing and getting things done right absolutely we're right. a small team mm. you know and my role as CEO is chief cook and bottle washer so um, you know no, you're doing all the, you know exactly <laughs> do. you're doing you're doing everything and uh, if, if you're wasting your time down a rabbit hole or, or chasing your tail right. or a goose wild goose chase it's not good for you okay so they sucked you in they got you in onto this this startup program What's kept you on that program? I think that's more important. Okay, get, yeah. You know, the introduction, yeah. hello guys, yeah. is, is one thing, but I mean, what keeps you there? Well, uh, we are really on a, on a journey now uh, together, and it's now uh, developed into a very strong commercial. Right here, right now, we are working on joint opportunities together. So um, it's not necessarily so what keeps... skin in the game. The skin in the game. We're actually looking to make money together. Right. And again, I sort of sometimes pinch myself to think, you know, we're in this position. Um, I mean, and th there's a very strong synergy, and we're very small, they're very big, but the synergy keeps us together. We've got something they need, they've got something we need, mm. and more importantly, together, we've got something that customers need. Best marriages are made that way, I reckon, don't you? Um, not being married yet, I can't comment. Oh, uh, well, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You have that joy to come. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, boys and girls, you really can deal with SAP if you've got the right solution, and if the timing is right, and if you've got the right product to get to market. Anyway, we're going to stop at this point because we're going to come back and talk about the solution, which is so flaming technical, it's exploded my brain. For the minute, thanks very much indeed, Dan. Thanks, Des.